Okie doke, on this video we're going to go through the installation with, a seed, uh, with an SD card which has got a utility that allows you to choose uh, what operating system you want to install at the very beginning. So as soon as you turn on the Raspberry Pi it will boot up with a, a utility that allows you to choose the operating system. Obviously we're going to choose OpenELEC, i.e. Kodi. Um, this kind of uh, micro SD card you normally get with uh, little kits and stuff like that. You can also download it from the site, uh, but I thought I'd just quickly show you how to go through the installation. So I'm, I've, the uh, micro SD card is in, so I'm just gonna turn it on. And that'll boot up for the first time. through resizing the partition of the memory on the SD card. And here we've got noobs, so that's what it's called. Um, and it's basically for users who aren't, you know, first time users, for example, they get to choose which one they want. So we've got a few on here and uh, we've got the Open Elec option here. Now, uh, as you'll notice, you've got Open Elec RPI 2, that's basically Raspberry Pi 2. So, I've got the latest one, so I'm just going to simply click onto that. Down here, we've got I can double check the language and the keyboard, so that's fine. And then, so once that's highlighted, we can click on install. Warning this will install the selected operating system. All existing data on the SD card will be overwritten including any OSSs that are already installed. So I'm just going to click yes to that. And it's going to start extracting OpenELAC. And it will begin the installation. So we'll just give that a moment. And then we've got OSSs installed. So that's okay, that's all been done successfully, so we can click OK. And then it's going to restart the Raspberry Pi. And then it's going to start booting into Open Elec for the first time, and you'll be able to see a drop down of writing in the top left hand corner. with many operating systems when you're installing them for the first time you may notice if you've done another operating system before maybe on Windows or something like that and the first time it boots in always takes a little longer so next time when you boot in it won't take this long straight in and obviously you'll get this first screen pop up just turn the volume down a little bit um, so just make sure that it's set to your uh, regional settings for your language. So English, I can leave that as it is. And click on next. Um, your host name for your network, we're going to change that in a moment. So you can leave that for the time being. You can click next. And you'll notice that the following networks are currently available. Now I don't have an Ethernet card plugged in. All I've currently got is the wireless card. But you'll notice there's nothing at the moment. That's fine, not to worry. You can click next. Um, this is with uh, for regards to your um, to your network access. I would leave it as Samba. If, if Samba is not highlighted, I would I would highlight that one. Next and next again, and here we are. So what we need to do is we need to go to. Uh, we can just click on the system here for starters. Now, depending on the size of your monitor or TV, you may notice that it goes over slightly in the corners. So we'll go through setting that up. So if we go to appearance, and uh, here you've got a few more options now. Right at the bottom down here, you've got settings level, and it's currently set to standard. So I'm going to click on there, and it'll go to advanced, and I'll click on it again, and it'll go to expert. So here, under skins, if we go over slightly, now you can change the skin, um, but we're not going to cover this that in this tutorial, uh, but there's loads of different types of uh, backgrounds you can get in different ways that all the options appear. 
So obviously to get rid of this uh, thing where it's going over in the corners, we've got a zoom here. Now it will be currently set to 0%. What I normally do is set it to minus 4 and that makes it fit correctly. All right, so now we can go back to the home. Now what we need to do is under system, we don't need to click it, we just need to hover under it. If we go to open elect. And under system name, this is where we can change the network name. So this is basically giving your Raspberry Pi a name so we can find our networks. And this is going to be quite important if you've um, if you're going to have multiple Raspberry Pis in your house. And it also becomes quite useful when I, I talk about a, a remote control that you can use on your phone for the Raspberry Pi, and it makes it a lot easier to find. Um, so I'm just going to give this a new name. Um, can't use certain characters so you can't use uh, dashes or forward slashes and you can't have spaces in it and um, it follows the same protocols as a network name uh, so I'll just call it that click done and there we are it's changed it for us now I'm in the UK so I'm going to change the keyboard layout to UK it's just here and here and that's done um, if you scroll down slightly here where you've got the updates you don't have to, uh, but I like to turn the automatic updates on. So currently it's on manual, and I'm just going to put that to auto. So as new updates come up, as you boot it up, it will just begin to uh, double check for you and then update update any, uh, any ones that it's needing. So now we need to go to network. Now as you hover over network, you'll be able to see that wired networks is active, and that's highlighted. That's fine. That's the default. If you're not going to be using it, then you can turn it off. It really does make a difference. But under wireless, which we're going to be setting up, active is not highlighted. So all we need to do is click onto that. At the bottom, it will do something. And now that's active. You get the option to uh, do tethered connections. Um, we won't be going through that. It's not really needed. I've tethered my mobile phone to it using a hotspot. That worked fine without using that. Um, so now we can go under connections. And you'll be able to see the wireless connection. So I'm just going to click onto that. Click connect. So I'm just going to type in the code. Click done. And then you'll notice the state up here should turn to ready. And now we're all clicked to the internet. Again, in services, this is all set up to a standard. You don't really need to change anything on there either. You can just leave all that, and it's probably best to, to be honest. Um, this is now all up and running. You'll notice now that we're connected to the internet. The time has changed. It's got the date, and you'll get the little thing at the bottom that will give you bits of information and news. So that is pretty much all you'll need to do to get Cody up and running it's now working um, if you want to close and turn it off don't just turn it off at the power because um, that can acker up the actual SD card um, what you need to do is go down to the bottom left here and you click the little power button and you'll get the option for power off system or you can even tell it when to turn off give it a timer or you can reboot the system uh, just to give you a quick rundown, so here are the options, we've got pictures, if we have some pictures available, this is the first screen, you can just click OK to that. Um, if you had some pictures on here, you'd be able to go to the pictures and you'd have a list of them all by go to pictures and you know if you had like a, a memory card in there or a USB stick, or if you were connected to your, your computer on your network. Just click back again, and then videos, this is what we're going to concentrate on in a moment in the next video. Uh, so I'll, I'll cover that more later and we're going to be getting some decent add-ons on it so you can get uh, free films, free box sets, uh, live TV. Uh, music again, it's similar to the pictures, you know, uh, you can hook it up to, to uh, your external hard drive and be able to stream all your music through it. Uh, programs, again we're going to go into that a little bit later on, uh, you won't need to use that too much but it allows us to get the add-ons that we want for videos, so we're going to go through that in a bit. Uh, that's going to be the next video, so that's it, cheers guys.